We all know about the Bermuda Triangle, which is also known as the Devil's Triangle. It's a mysterious area in the North Atlantic Ocean where planes, ships, and people disappear under mysterious circumstances never to be seen again. They seem to vanish to another dimension. No one knows what's caused over 150 ships to disappear or where they even disappear to. But the Bermuda Triangle isn't the only one of its kind. There are several places on Earth where physical anomalies and unexplained disappearances are common. Cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman has documented and traced activity in the Bridgewater Triangle. In his book, Mysterious America, he identified an area of about 200 square miles with, within southeastern Massachusetts as a window area of unexplained occurrences, which are similar to the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is just one area where strange things happen. There's also the Sedona, Arizona vortex, the Devil Sea in Japan. There's the Bennington Triangle and the Alaskan Triangle, which is the area between Anchorage, Juneau, and Barrow. There's even one in space that's been extensively studied by NASA, and it's called the South Atlantic Anomaly. The lore in Japan's Devil Sea, which is south of Tokyo, goes all the way back to 1000 BC. In the 1200s, the Chinese believed there were enormous dragons in the ocean that pulled ships underwater and that their movements created rogue waves, whirlpools, thick fog, and storms that appear from nowhere. In 1952, a research ship was sent out by Japan to find out what was happening to the ships that were disappearing. Well, that ship and its crew of 31 disappeared as well. None of them were ever found, but the shipwreck was discovered shortly after. After that, the Japanese government declared the Devil Sea unsafe for research ships and for transporting. There are some people that believe that Atlantis is actually hidden beneath the Devil's Triangle. There are 12 Devil's Triangles, or valve vortices, around the world, and in these areas, magnetic anomalies and other unexplained phenomena occur more frequently. The pull of the planet's electromagnetic waves is stronger in those areas than anywhere else. The valve vortices are kind of diamond-shaped, and they're spread out equally around the Earth, each one 72 degrees from the other. In the early 70s, biologist, writer, and fan of the paranormal, Ivan Sanderson, noticed during his travels that there were specific regions where strange things happened like planes, ships, and people disappearing without a trace, compasses would spin like crazy, electrical equipment failed, and UFOs were allegedly seen. Because of these observations, he mapped the 12 areas and he named them the Val Vortices. There are some that believe that the Val Vortices could be an entrance to the hollow earth or to another dimension. Since missing persons started being recorded in 1988 in Alaska, over 16,000 people have gone missing. Every year, four out of 1,000 people vanish in Alaska. Their disappearance rate is 16 times the national average. In 1950, a plane carrying 44 people left Anchorage at one o'clock. It checked in two hours later, but that was the last communication anyone ever received from them, and no wreckage was ever found. The native Tlingit people of Alaska have their own explanation for the disappearances. I've known people who have disappeared or went out boating or into the woods or the mountains and have never come home again. Our people a lot of times attribute it to evil beings that exist in this world with us, that it's basically their job to capture us, take us. and. Um, in southeastern Alaska with the Tlingit people, it is usually attributed to the Kushtaka. In Tlingit, Kushtaka. And so what, what exactly is a Kushtaka? The Kushtaka is an, it, probably the most evil spirit in Tlingit culture. It is uh, something that as children were taught about and uh, extremely afraid of. His goal in, uh, in this universe is to take your life, but to capture your soul and take your soul so that it becomes his slave, a spirit slave in essence. You'll hear someone say, oh, Kushtaka got him. Such kind of a taboo subject that um, people just really prefer not to talk about him. So Ethan, do you believe that uh, people that you personally know that have gone missing without explanation were the victim of the Kushtaka? I think that some of them probably were. His, his way to get you is not to just sneak up on you and attack you. The way he gets you is to 
attract you to him. He's, a, a, I guess, kind of a shapeshifter in a way, either changing his shape or making you think that you're seeing something different. So as a, as a kid, you know, you're outside playing, your grandmother's working in the smokehouse, and you're over here playing. Well, maybe over here, all of a sudden, you look up, and there's your grandmother, and you thought, well, I thought she was in the smokehouse, but now she's over here, and she's standing by the edge of the woods in the salmonberry bushes, and she'll be motioning to you to come to her. And she's going like this, not saying a word, and if you just follow her, she'll retreat back into the forest. And when you get into the forest, he's enticed you, he's tricked you to follow him, you're done. Uh, making my hair stand up talking about it. You know, you're making my hair stand yeah. up too. I mean, I know grown men, even old men, who uh, are extremely fearful of this being, Kushtaka. In fact, many of us don't even like to say his name. It just seems like almost everybody I'm meeting here in Alaska has a story of somebody going missing and never being heard from again. Now let's talk about the Bridgewater Triangle. In the Bridgewater Triangle, phenomena ranges from UFOs to balls of fire, Bigfoot-like sightings, giant snakes, thunderbirds, and a phantom hitchhiker. There's also some true crime mixed in. Lizzie Borton lived inside the Bridgewater Triangle, and she's buried in Oak Grove Cemetery in Fall River, and some have reported seeing strange lights there. Freetown Fall River State Forest has a dark reputation. It's known as the Cursed Forest of Massachusetts, and it's the site of several tragedies. In November of 1978, the body of 15-year-old Mary Lou Arruda was found tied to a tree. She had been abducted from a nearby town about two months earlier. One of the creepiest spots in the forest is this ledge. It's an 80-foot deep rock quarry that's the site of many suicides. People that aren't even contemplating the idea are said to suddenly feel a strong urge to jump once they reach the top. There's the solitude stone that was found next to the body of a missing person. That person had taken their life. This rock is also known as suicide stone. There was evidence of satanic cult activity in the forest for about 15 to 20 years, and there have been several cases of gruesome animal mutilations. The mutilations were part of a ritual sacrifice performed by a local cult. It's believed that the Fall River cult murderers called Drew and Robin Murphy conducted rituals in the forest. In May of 2016, wire cables were found tied across frequently traveled trails that were likely meant to cause serious harm to off-road motorbike riders. The wire cables would hit right at their neck. A man named Bill Russo had an experience with a strange creature one night while he was walking his dog Samantha and she suddenly started shaking. This is a short audio clip of him describing the experience. Many, many years ago while on a midnight walk with my dog Samantha in the quiet little town of Rainham that's a part of the Bridgewater Triangle, I heard a strange cry in the distance. It got louder and soon into the middle of a circle of light cast by a street lamp walked a three foot tall little creature and I became perhaps the only person in the world to see and hear the Pukwudgie speak. He couldn't understand what was happening, but he later realized that whatever he was looking at was trying to communicate with him. It was trying to say, we want you come here, but it didn't speak English. And in 1971, a police sergeant saw a gigantic winged creature while driving home one night. He believed what he saw was a thunderbird. They're sometimes spotted in the area. A thunderbird is a creature from Native American mythology that's said to create thunder by flapping its wings and lightning comes from its eyes. There's the legend of a ghost truck that terrorizes drivers at night. He catches people driving down his road and then he drives up on them. He comes up behind them with his high beams on and then he blows his air horn. Reminds me of Jeepers Creepers. What the hell's this problem? You're around me! Drivers are scared of being run over by the truck, so they pull over. When they do, the truck vanishes. There's also the red-headed hitchhiker or the phantom of Route 44. It's said that a man with a big red beard, a plaid flannel shirt, and jeans is often seen on the side of the road. He'll quickly jump out in front of your car. You slam on the brakes and you get ready to prepare for a crash, but the crash never happens. You get out of the car. I don't know why you would do that, but people get out of the car and they look behind them, but there's no one there. And there have been fatal accidents on this road. 
there are multiple explanations for why these things occur in these areas. But one explanation for the Bermuda Triangle is electric fog. It's like a grayish cloud of electromagnetic fields that form above the ocean. The cloud appears out of nowhere and it completely engulfs a plane or a ship. The fog just keeps moving with the ship or the plane. And soon all of the electronic systems and instruments just start to fail. The person becomes disoriented and time distortion starts. And time distortion is when time appears to pass really, really quickly or really, really slowly. Lastly, the ship or the plane may disintegrate or may even disappear without a trace. And there have been actual SOS calls that have mentioned strange fog. There's one account by a pilot that is flying with his father in 1970 when an elliptical shaped cloud started forming ahead of them. Before the pilot could get out of the cloud, it engulfed the plane and it created a tunnel around them. While they were flying through the tunnel at 10,000 feet, they saw the cloud around them forming lines and slowly rotating and spiraling in a counterclockwise direction while it was propelling them forward. They started having a feeling of zero gravity and all of their navigational systems started to fail. Fortunately, the fog suddenly disintegrated and they were once again detected by radar. They had traveled 100 miles through that tunnel and they reached their destination 30 minutes earlier than they usually did. Another theory to explain why the Bridgewater Triangle is such a hotspot of paranormal activity is because of a centuries old Native American curse. In the 1670s, there was King Philip's War, also known as the First Indian War, and it occurred between English settlers and Native Americans. The Wampanoag chief, also called King Philip, was hung, beheaded, drawn, and quartered, and his head was displayed on a pike for 20 years at Plymouth Colony. When it comes to the Alaskan Triangle, massive glaciers, hidden caves, and deep crevices can easily hide the wreckage from a plane, and hikers can easily be hidden and covered by snow. Some believe that CERN is responsible for a lot of the world's unexplained phenomena. There are a ton of rumors and concerns about this place, and it's a very fascinating subject. CERN is also known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and it's in Geneva, Switzerland. It's home to the Large Hadron Collider, which is the largest machine in the world, and it's comprised of a 17-mile circular loop that's buried 300 feet underground. I'm not a scientific person, so I'm going to do my best to explain this part quickly so that I don't bore you or bore myself. But there are a lot of videos on here that can describe it better. The 17 mile loop is used to hurl subatomic particles at extremely fast speeds in order to smash them into each other to test what would happen. Okay, so why are they doing this? Some of these collisions are expected to, for a brief moment, create conditions similar to those that occurred immediately after the universe was created. The God particle, they call it. In one second, the particles can go around the 17 mile loop 22,000 times. When they smash into each other, energy is released. The director of research at CERN has said that the Large Hadron Collider could open a doorway to another dimension. Something may either come out of this door or they might send something through it, he said. This isn't a rumor or a conspiracy theory. He actually said this. In 2012, there was a rumor that some Nephilim had gotten in through the gateway. People point to the connection and the significance of the statue of the Hindu god Shiva, who's also known as the Destroyer. This statue was a gift from India. They also point out that the first four letters of CERN are the same first four letters in the name Cernunos, pagan god of the underworld. A lot of people believe this machine is very dangerous. Scientists all over the world have warned that the experiments taking place at CERN could open a black hole, it could destroy the Earth, or it could open up a portal to another dimension. And Stephen Hawking was even against what they're doing. He said the God particle that scientists believed created the world could actually end it. The particle is known as the Higgs boson. It could become unstable at extremely high energies and create a black hole that would collapse the universe.